was one of the individuals where the alpha neurofeedback worked extremely well. And these are her descriptions before and after treatment. So before therapy, this is how she described the nature of her traumatic memories. She described them as lingering, an unsolved puzzle, a mass of confusion, chaos and suffering, bigger than the good memories. So the traumatic memories were bigger than the good memories. And then after therapy, she had a very dis different description of her traumatic memories. She said, I have no fear of those unhappy things happening again. I no longer question my past or the people in it. I control my life. The events are clear now, like a neat timeline as compared to what was once a tangled mess. And what's really important to be aware of is that neat timeline, she describes that sense of time. That's also something that's really uh, comes online when the front part, especially the dorsal lateral prefrontal cortex, an area part of the central executive network comes online. So she really describes that uh, very eloquently. She also described appraisal of trauma and its effects pre and post therapy. And she said, before therapy, it opened my eyes to how miserable and pathetic the world is. All people are unhappy, it's normal. It's my own fault, I'm depressed. And after the treatment, she said, they were not my fault. There was much blame to go out to all involved, including me. And yes, everyone does suffer a little in life, but the strong ones evolve to change. I'm changing in ways my abusers and bullies never could. I'm proud I've recognized the power of my own thoughts. The event is not what made me strong. I made me strong. So you really see that tremendous shift in her sense of self, right? Fabulous. Here I want to share another.